Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm doing something a little bit different right now. I am going to show everyone how to create their own um, fish extender. Um, I looked all over Etsy and I couldn't find anything below $35, $40 and I'm very cheap but I'm also very creative so I looked all over and tried to find a tutorial to help me make this myself. I'm not very good at um, using my sewing machine. I have one but I do not use it. I think I used it one time and that was about three or four years ago. So I didn't want to go that route. So I found an alternative way to create your own fish extender on a budget and this right here is what I have so far. This is actually a clothing or some type of organizer that I got from Amazon and I only paid less than six dollars for this thing and as you can see the little polka dots this is actually what it looked like when I got it and I try to get creative and kind of do this myself this is the turnout of me adding my own fabric and my own trim here and here. These two pockets are going to be my, my daughters and myself. So I've already done these. I wanted to do that off camera to kind of get through the trial and error. But honestly it was very very easy and pretty much anybody can do this. So today I'm going to show you exactly what I did and how I did it and again this is what I did already and this part and this part is how it came already and as you can see you have the deep pockets that you can hang on the little fish extender of your cruise and if you've heard my previous videos we are going on a Disney cruise. So. I decided to go ahead and make my own. So what you're going to need, of course, is a hot glue gun. I choose to use a hot glue gun because for me it works a whole lot better. I did not want to risk trying to use any type of um, fabric glue because I'm not used to using fabric glue. But this right here worked wonders. It was perfect for what I needed to use it for. You're going to also need any type of ribbon or um, anything you want to outline your um, each pocket with so I'm going to do something different for my fiance and my son um, but yeah you're going to also need your glue sticks you're going to need um, fabric shears and you're going to need fabric so this is the fabric that I use for the other two pockets that I just recently showed you and this is the trim that I use for those as well. Now I'm going to do something completely different with my fiance and son. They like Star Wars so I'm going to use the Star Wars uh, fabric that I found at Walmart that I thought would go perfectly with the overall color scheme of black, white, and red. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the Star Wars and I'm gonna add this as a trimming. I didn't use this because it's too girly for them, so <laughs> I'm gonna use this instead. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I've already opened up my fabric that I have bought from Walmart. And as you can see here, it says that it's 18 by 21 inches. So I will probably only need this amount. Um, I'm not sure what the measurements are for this, but I know across, it is around 12 inches across. And I'm guessing if you go all the way around, it's probably about 22 inches all the way around. And I'm not sure what the measurements are from here to here, but I'm going to guess it's about four to five inches. I'm going to guess five inches maybe, but I'm eyeballing everything, so I'm not really 
actually measuring anything. I just basically get a little bit of fabric that I feel like is going to work for me. But anyway, um, I'm going to line it up here. And it stops about right here, but I'm going to cut a little bit further down. But I'm just going to eyeball it and cut my fabric to the length that I need it. Alright, now that my fabric is cut, this is super easy, you guys. It's really not hard at all. And for those who do not use a sewing machine like me, this was a big lifesaver. So, all you do is get your glue gun and you start from the top. You just glue a little bit at a time, going straight across, just like that. And I'm just going to start here. And I'm going to give you a tip when doing this, when you are gluing your fabric down, probably towards the bottom and then towards the sides, you're going to pull your fabric so it can give you a clean finish because you don't want any like bulkiness. So you just pull as you go. And one thing I like about hot glue, it, um, it dries very, very quickly. Some people don't like the use of hot glue because it burns you sometimes, but I just try my best to avoid all of that. Sometimes you just can't avoid it, but I deal with it because I like hot glue. I think I use hot glue for almost everything. So again, all you're doing is gluing your fabric all the way across the top starting out have the top glued down and you don't have to worry about the edges at the very top because you're going to cover that with your um, other ribbon that you're going to use to trim around the edges so you don't have to worry about this top part being perfect because it's going to be hidden anyway so now when I go down to the bottom I do want this part to be smooth all the way across. I don't want any jagged edges or anything of that nature. So all you do is fold it under just like this and measure where you're folding it over at here at the bottom. And then you turn it over and that's where you glue at. So you take your glue gun and go all the way across underneath and then fold it over so when you fold it back over this way it gives you like a very very clean finish all right so I finished gluing down the top and the bottom 
and all I have to do now is this edge right here I've already completed this edge as you can see right here I've already completed that part now I have to do this part and again you're just doing the same exact thing that you did for the top and the bottom all you're doing is gluing down your edges and you pull it extremely tight and you glue down all of this on all three sides so I'm going to do that right quick and I'm going to come back and show you how to do the trimming and again that part is also easy so I will show you that in a minute so now I'm going to do the trimming and of course this is going to go all the way from the left side across the front and all the way to the back side and I'm just going to measure that with this particular pocket and I think it looks really really good with how it looks against the other pattern so as you can see it was very easy simple to do was not hard at all I have not yet to figure out how I'm going to put the names on each one but I will definitely figure that out and let you know how that turns out as well now I have to do my bottom pocket and of course it's going to look exactly like this one so if you have any questions please comment below I'm going to definitely come back and show you how it looks alright everyone I am 100% done I am finished and I love the turnout um, the only thing I have to do at the very top is add a ribbon right now I just have it hanging above the closet door but I have to add a ribbon for it to work but my fish extender is complete and this is how it looks I 
I decided to use cardstock paper to add our names because I did not feel like taking out my Cricut machine and doing the names that way so I just did it the easiest way possible and it literally took me overall about 15 minutes to design cut and paste and I hot glue that as well so yeah I used glitter paper for the backing and regular cardstock paper for the front and this is a close-up again I am so loving how it turned out it was a very very easy project once I got started and if you would like to do this yourself it's very very easy and it's not complicated at all whatsoever but Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want to get notifications, hit the bell button as well. So again, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.